have seen how to create a constructor in Kotlin. So today we will discuss about the multiple ways to create a constructor in Kotlin. In Kotlin it is known as secondary constructor. So I am going to create a secondary constructor in Kotlin. If you go to the class and inside the class create a function named constructor. So this is how you can create a secondary constructor. In Kotlin there is a default method called constructor. Just build for the secondary constructor. So we have passed three parameters in the primary constructor, right? A first name, a last name, and a year of birth. So in the secondary constructor, I'm going to just pass the first name, first name string. So one thing you have to understand is that whenever you create a secondary constructor, you must link the secondary constructor with the primary constructor through a, this keyword. So I'm going to create a link by adding a colon and this and I'm going to pass the first name and second last name and year of birth I'm going to pass it as default uh, right uh, like um, Sanjay and year of birth will be 1993 so you can create multiple secondary constructors I just created one so let's create one more and this time let's pass the year of birth and in this uh, you're going to pass name as Ajit and last name as James and uh, you pass the year of birth from the secondary constructor so let's see how we can call the secondary constructor from the main function you all already uh, create a, created an instance of the employee object employee class here using the primary constructor so I'm going to create two instances now using the two secondary constructors. I'm just going to change this name into employee A. So this will be more readable. So I'm going to create a secondary constructors instance employee. I'm going to name it as employee B and employee. So one more thing, uh, how how the compiler distinguish between three constructors we have primary constructor two secondary constructors right so the way constructor so it's the way compiler distinguishes is uh, by looking at the parameter list so in the primary constructor there are three parameters in the secondary constructor the first secondary constructor consists of just one parameter in the second is just another parameter of integer type so that's how the compiler identifies or distinguishes the uh, constructors so I'm going to create an instance of the first secondary constructor so I just have to pass the first name right I'm going to pass it as Saint Letish because I already passed uh, the last name at year of birth year and I'm going to create an instance of the second secondary constructor it's called employee C employee so here I have to pass the year of birth because Ajit and name like uh, the first name and last name was already passed in the secondary constructor, second secondary constructor. So I'm going to just pass the year, year of birth. It will be 1994. So this is how you can create two instances, just an instance of a secondary constructor. So let's uh, print it out and see. employee name employee a name is employee b name is employee c name is employee b dot employee b dot and this will be employee c right employee c dot employee c so i'm going to just run it and make sure everything works okay So the very first instance employee A name is Clint Paul and age is 26 because we have passed the first name as Clint last name as Paul and year of birth 94 so it is Clint Paul 26 and the second one employee B name is Sanjay Ladish, Ladish Sanjay and age is 27 because uh, we have passed the first name as Ladish and the last name is already passed here as Sanjay and year of birth is 93 so it is 27 
and the third one he we just passed the year of birth year only so ajit james and year of birth so it will be like employee c is employee c name is ajit james and age is 26 so today we discussed about how to work with secondary constructors in kotlin in the next chapter we'll discuss about the getters and setters in kotlin so i really hope uh, this tutorial series is helping you in some way uh, giving you an idea about kotlin so just try it yourself try it yourself and give me your feedback about the course as well so if you want me to change anything my style or anything just give me your feedback it will be greatly useful for me so thank you see you next chapter and if you really like the video please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notification thank you thank you so much